doing a chest workout again. It's going to be high volume because Dax is here. He loves a bit of volume. Training in the all new next gen Trippy T. I'll show you the back of this one. It actually looks really sick. So let's do it. All right, pre workout's going down. Today is concoction. Two scoops of Magic Pre, one serve. A scoop of creatine monohydrate and two scoops of the Amped Pump Formula. You guys know we love to train with a pump formula because the more blood you get into the muscle, the more nutrients, the more growth, and we're all in the gym to get a pump anyway. So if you aren't training with a pump formula, what are you even doing? Yeah, we're, we're doing um, another volume workout, high volume. Yeah, chest. Just one scoop for me today. Oh, really? Two, two scoops of pump. Uh, yeah, just, just don't need that much caffeine right now. New tropics will get me through. Beauty. All right, Go. smash this down and get into it. All right, exercise one, we're gonna start on the good old Smith machine. We're gonna do Smith machine, incline, bench press. I like the Smith machine because it's, uh, it takes out any of that balancing that you have to do sometimes on the bench and allows you to really focus on pushing with your chest and engaging the muscle that you want to engage instead of just sort of wrestling with the weight. It's um, a safer way, I'd say, to bench. And we are going to do high reps, so I'm guessing this is probably going to be what, three... Sets of 25. Three sets Four, of 25. this is the first set. Four sets of 25, same as last time. Um, I'm going to show you a little trick, if you guys don't follow our socials, a little trick to get the, uh, the bench in the middle of the Smith machine every time. And it's as simple as this. Take the weights off the Smith machine. Unrack the bar. Drop the bar on the bench and then line it up with the little markings so your bench is directly in the middle. Simple as that, instead of trying to like juggle and figure out which way the bench has got to go and you lay down and one side's crooked, the other side's straight. Nice little trick, drop the bar straight on the bench, line it up with the middle and away you go. All right, so same as our shoulder video, if you haven't watched it, the link's below. First exercise and first set is always going to be what we call a feeler set. It's a lighter weight, so this is only 10 kilos each side, plus the Smith machine obviously takes some resistance out. And all we're doing is introducing the weight to the muscle. We're letting the blood start to flow into the muscle, loosen everything up, getting the mind into training mode, and starting to really put ourselves where we want to be in terms of training, so then we can start to increase the weight and our body and our mind is ready. Right, so this will be the first set. So set one of four, we're gonna be doing 25 reps. And what you see is a lot of, um, especially new guys to the gym, they'll find it hard to actually engage their chest and you'll, they'll find that they'll load, they'll load up either too much weight in the bar and end up using majority shoulder and no chest. You see that when they sort of curve their chest over and it's all shoulder. A little tip, I'm sure you've probably heard it before, everyone will talk about it, is imagine when you press up, you're trying to meet, make your biceps meet each other at the top. And what it will do is it'll help, it'll help activate and squeeze the top of this chest. Because essentially, what you're trying to do is further extend those biceps up instead of pushing with your shoulders. One other thing? Yep. Powerlifters do this very well. Bodybuilders always don't do it is uh when you're on a bench just doing flat press incline whatever plant your feet right that way when you're pushing push up through your heels and use your strength so many people you see do this they tap their feet when they do want to press puts everything in line so just plant your feet first and lay back so you've got that nice balance without your feet wobbling side to side. Like I said, palette is all properly. I guess um, the other thing you should mention on that is <coughs> with your chest, I'd say almost any exercise, I don't know if chest, it's back, whatever, chest always stay, stays up. Chest up, For head sure. up. Like um, I said, powerlifters, they're all yeah. there. I am no, I'm no powerlifter, but if you watch their feet planted and push, yeah. push up. Same thing with this, we're, not, we're just repping it out. Yeah.
All right, exercise number two. We're moving on to the seated pec deck, seated chest fly. Um, if you don't have one of these in your gym, one of these in your gym, you could just do regular dumbbell flies. You could do uh, cable flies, lots of alternatives. Like you should have one in your gym. Yeah. Well, you need to go train at a gym that has one because it's a good exercise, a good machine. Great machine. Um, All right, simple, a common mistake is uh, how far back you have the handles placed with the pin at the top. So, so these little things will move. If you go back one for me, go back, so, okay, we'll go. Okay, so here, oh, let's go back to the same spot. Okay, so if that's here, what's that, what that's doing is put a lot of pressure on your rotator cuff. So a lot of people that have shoulder issues or even chest issues is a lot of the time rotator cuff. So that's obviously a great stretch, but it's unneeded. Come forward, just about here, which is the, three. it's gonna vary back three. Bring it forward, squeeze, and hold one, two, at the end, at the, at the top of the movement, I guess. Just back here, so that's perfect. Not too far back, I can't feel that in my shoulders, I feel it all in my chest. Head up, and chest forward. Now you see, another common mistake with this is guys will, they'll lean forward. Yeah, yeah yes. and Front delts. Yeah. If that's you're doing you're this, to. just stop. You're not doing anything. Drop the weight, if, if you're chest up. If you're you're struggling to get it, drop the weight. Yeah. You want your head back, chest nice chest and tight. Push forward and squeeze at the end. And like I said, in the chest, in the chest uh, incline press, we're trying to get those biceps to meet each other in the middle. And cool. that's what gives you that squeeze in the chest. This exercise, it's not so much about strength. Yeah, you want to go kind of heavy, but it's about squeezing and we're trying to stretch the fibers and contract them, getting the blood in there. It gives you a filthy pump when you do it correctly. So yeah, leave the ego at the door. Chest up, head up, squeeze those biceps and squeeze at the top. Three sets, 25 reps. very hydrated today because I can feel the, the blood circulating a lot more than usual. I guess that's the advantage of Could training. be the new pump formula. To be honest with you, that's the first time I've tried the amps. Um, and yeah, so far, it's really good. It's great. So you got to remember, with your chest, the range of movement, a lot of machines will kind of either stop and not let you come right across or some of the fly machines you can't really get right across your body either. So your, your chest range of movement and the activation can come all the way across your body like this. And it's where you can kind of activate the most amount of fibers as well. Same with your press, like sometimes obviously on the Smith machine you're limited, you can't, you can only go in a certain plane of motion. That's why sometimes dumbbells are really good for, for a bench press, um, incline and flat. But this exercise here, which we're gonna show, is a little tweak to an incline press, which allows you to bring the weight across the body and activate all the fibers. So Dax is gonna sit down and give us a little demo. If you've so, ever trained chest with me, you know we've, we've always thrown this in. I reckon it's such a good way to isolate your chest on a compound movement, obviously. But it's a small movement from here. Okay, so first, this is how you'd actually, this exercise and how this machine's put together is meant to be, yeah. So, obviously the common way, straight up, which is obviously your upper chest, is what we're trying to do, right? But what we're gonna do is turn to the side. You wanna come perfectly side on, arm tucked under here. So a lighter weight, obviously, it's because your movement's only from here to here, and you can, you can push up the top of your chest. So, what you wanna do from here, is just push up here squeeze all the tension sits on the top of your chest I can literally feel that well, you can see it too yeah you can see that chest it's a lot of tension I feel that a fair bit to be honest with you 
So it's a very short but focused movement. You, like he's doing is just pushing that that weight across the chest and flexing it hard. And that is gonna deliver an insane pump. It's gonna drive heaps of blood in there. Obviously the more blood, the more we can expand the muscle, the more the muscle can grow, so. If you're not feeling that, you're not doing it properly. As I felt every friggin' rep of that. Same thing. Yeah, it's on. A little trick as well is um, touch the muscle that you're trying to activate to make sure it's getting activated. Yeah, that's and if it's not, very true. Wiggle yourself so it does get activated. Very if you're true. doing this exercise, you're not feeling it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very true point. So have you ever seen me doing that in the gym? I'm not squeezing my nipples. He's not playing with his nipples. <laughs> I'm just actually <laughs> seeing if it's working properly. Say. So, uh oh. Who doesn't like a good singer? Jesus Christ. And the focus of this isn't so much to hit the tricep, it's to hit sort of this whole chest area in the meat. I saw um, John Meadows do a video on this, and basically what it is, you shorten the range of movement, and when you get to the top, the shoulders come forward slightly and you flex your chest. And what you'll feel is a contract all through your chest up here. So it's a short movement and then a big squeeze. Short movement, big squeeze. So so I'm slight, I've got my knees right on the end of the bench. I'm slightly leaning forward. Short movement through the elbows and then big squeeze at the top. My shoulders will roll forward and flex that chest. So short movement, big squeeze at the Two chest. Shoulders round off at the top, yeah? Yeah. Big squeeze. Yeah. I'm always trying to get my shoulders to meet in the middle. Yep. As you can see, where his knees are placed on the pad. He's not going for a chin up. It's a lot different. We're trying to work the chest, obviously. All triceps are little dips. Nice and controlled as well. Always controlled. Not, not, yeah. not springing out of it. Taking extra care of the shoulders. Ooh. And when you do it correctly, you'll feel just this crazy pump through the middle, sort of inside of your chest. So give it a whirl. You probably mentioned too, maybe a lot of people don't really know how to use these assisted chin up slash dip machine. The lighter you go, the harder it gets. So essentially each one of these weights will either add or take weight off your body weight. So to make it easier, you would go heavier down the stack, as funny as it sounds. To make it harder, you'd go up the stack. What we're doing, 15 big squeezes on this chest focused dip. Then we're supersetting it with 15 of these cable fly crossovers. Again, really focusing on targeting that chest. Big squeeze. Same thing, chest high. Don't roll your shoulders over like this. We're not doing a, a shoulder exercise. Purely chest. That is our high volume chest workout in the books. Hope you enjoyed it. Dax? I do. That was a really good workout. I, I trained chest actually two days ago. So it was sort of sore before we come in here, but um, it, feels, it feels great. It feels good. I just wanted to say, when we film these content, these videos, we're uh, actually doing the full workout. We're not doing one set and bail it on just for the purpose of the content. True? Because mm -hmm. I do see a lot of a lot of people film a workout where they'll just do one set and bang the next one. We're actually doing the full workout. Yeah. So we get the full contraction of using these products and see if that's why we can obviously come back to our customers and say, how'd that go work with the chest workout? And uh, I'm gonna rate that amped pump formula a good eight and a half out of ten. 
The flavour was mad. Yeah. What the fuck? What flavour? The jawbreaker. Like a gobstopper. Yeah. Yeah. It tasted, it tasted insane. Yeah. It was amazing. So yeah, all those products are available on our website and in all our stores. Uh, if you liked this video, drop a like below. If you Stay hit the hydrated. subscribe button for us, that would be amazing. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, share it. Leave a comment for us if you want to see a particular workout or challenge or something filmed. Let us know in the comments below and we'll get it done. Until next time, see you in the next video.